straight from the underworld, coming for the underground. Ooh. Motherfuckers better watch out for the male hounds. I never been the motherfucking gang that you all down. Ooh. Risen up the purgatory, yeah, you bitches done now. Ooh. Straight from the underworld, coming for the underground. Ooh. Motherfuckers better watch out for the male hounds. Hey, man, I just want to wish you and your family a happy holiday. Uh, bless up, bro. I, I wanted to thank you from the bottom of my heart for always having my back. You're like a brother to me. As we talked bless about up. how this team has exceeded expectations this year, you don't have to look much further than this rookie quarterback as an explanation as to why. The moment they drafted this kid, there was a renewed energy within the organization and I think increased attention from around the league because they feel like they've got a future MVP under center. And that kind of optimism, it radiates throughout the rest of the franchise. And now the throw taken in by Chark. And he's brought down. A little glimpse of his athleticism there and what they're going to have to deal with. He can use his legs to dance around back behind the line of scrimmage and beyond the line of scrimmage. And wouldn't you love to get a copy of their defensive scouting report going into the week? Because that's the... And that ball is caught by DJ Chuck for the Jags touchdown. DJ Chuck, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Jags have taken the early lead. Shows that that means he's not acting. No. Because with the improv means break character when you need to. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And he gets in. Well, no one was expecting a fake there, but they add two more onto their lead. All right, we're talking new football here. We're talking new models, new paradigms, new ways of looking at things. They score, line up with the PAT, fake it, and go up eight to nothing. I, I, I'm kind of at a loss here because if I'm going to go for two, I'm going to ask him to put the ball in the two yard and put my offense out. Exactly. Out. Opening drive of the game, faking it is bold enough for the 15. That's quite another thing. I know a lot of people fall back on analytics, but still, I think that person would tell you, put your offense in and go from the two, not from the 15. Still got it, though. Yes, they did. Fielded right around the eight. And out a little across the 25 to the 20. That is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Philip Dorsett, his second touchdown on the season. And the Jaguars add on to their lead. He put quite a bit of air underneath that touchdown pass. And of course, we knew that he had the strong arm. That part was easy. You could see that throughout his college career. But what you want to know about a rookie is, when the pressure's on, can you throw with touch? Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. It's caught inside the 10. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. Okay, they went for the fake off of the, the extra point attempt. It's a long way to go, and they didn't get there. Didn't get it completed successfully. Did someone dare them to do that? Did, did, did someone double dog dare yeah, to do that? What maybe was that? They, they saw something on film, but do you see something on film when they to try something from the 15 on a PAT? Yeah, I don't the, know. The only thing they needed to see on film there. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker Joe Schober. And he's going to return it to the 21 yard line. The struggles continue here offensively. Still nothing for him on the scoreboard, and now an interception. Yeah, the offense looks extremely sluggish, not really in sync at all. Dare I say, it looks like he got left behind in customs. Oh, you've had that in your back pocket. <laughs> you were waiting for that. Probably should have left it in my back pocket, too. Well played. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. Back to throw. Schultz, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Christian Wilkins. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. And Schultz holds it in. Touchdown. DJ Schultz with his second touchdown in this opening corner. And the Jaguars add six to their lead. Josh Lambeau now for the point after. 
Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. It's caught inside the 10. And he is into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. And that's something you almost never see nowadays. When you fake it, you're at the 15-yard line on a PAT as opposed to just going for it from the two. I'm sorry. I know they got it, and congratulations to them, but it's just not a good play. Now a hit and a loose football. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secure. And a lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. The numbers on the ground for Gurley last week. 21 carries, 73 yards. And we all know he had a big workload last week, so I'm eager to see if they decide to back him off a little bit. Personally, I hand it to him 20-plus times again. When a running back's locked in like he is, I want him to keep touching the football. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Now the ball comes loose. And did the Jaguars come up with it? They did. And some room to run now. This one back. Throwing on second and long. Tua. And he'll go down after losing yardage at the 10. Maybe a frustration penalty there because he's picked them apart. They've tried their best to get to him and haven't done it successfully. A penalty as a result of that hit there. Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and 10. Got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. And the Jags grab it. And he brings this one back. A fumble return for the Jacksonville score. This first half has been a nightmare for that offense. Defense just dominating them. And when you're picking up the ball, picking up their mistakes, and taking it the other way and putting it in the end zone, that's a defense's dream. They're having that type of a game. Everything that can go wrong has gone wrong for this offensive unit. Josh Lambeau now for the point after. And the route is on here in this first half. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return from the six. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they weren't on the sidelines for long, but I'll tell you what, I'm glad you and I weren't down there. We could hear them, <laughs> the coaches from all the way up here. They were adamant, you've got to hold on to the football or else we have no hope. Yeah, it's easy for me to laugh sitting up here, but you're exactly right. We were down there. That message would have been received a whole different way because turnovers, they've been a big problem for them. Got to take care of the football. Got to hold on to it. Well, the pressure gets there, and Tua is going to be taken down. John Simon picks up his second sack of the afternoon. So now after the sack, Tua and the Dolphins staring at a third and long. Throwing now is Tug of Iloa. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Caleb on Chason providing a little deja vu. Back-to-back -back sacks, and now they're staring at a fourth and long. Charles not to point now on the year. And the Jaguars are able to add on to their first half lead. And they fake it. They pitch to the tight end. 
And he'll be out of bounds well short of the goal line, so the attempt at the fake extra point unsuccessful. Well, I have to admit, I'm scratching my head a little bit here trying to make sense of what I just saw. Number one, huge lead. Just kick the extra point and be done with it. Number two, if you are going to go for two, just line up and go for it from the two-yard line. Why make it so difficult? That's a long way to go to try and pick up some points. And it takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. And let's shift our attention to Will Fuller. They've got to be thinking, how can we get him a little bit more involved here? Second quarter, you're down, and really, he's been out of the mix. I would agree with that, and oftentimes you hear, well, we're just taking what the defense is giving us. But sometimes that's just not good enough. Sometimes you have to take what you want, and that means getting him the football. Yeah, so far just a single catch in this game. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. Time. I'll go from one personality, you Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth. <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. Tongue of Iloa working out of the gun. Flushed out right. And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. They'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. That's a good effort there, trying to do it on his own, but as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you, and if you take off too quick to try and get him down, he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. Jags football again. DJ Chark ready to rock and roll. Making his presence felt early in this one. First half already over the century mark. How about the yards per completion, too? That's a pretty darn good number there. Number of catches, but he's shredding defense. He's getting big yardage with each and every one of them. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Now he's going to throw it back deep over the middle. He's got a man complete! And he'll be taken down, but not before the work extra point unsuccessful. Well, I have to admit, I'm scratching my head a little bit here trying to make sense of what I just saw. Number one, huge lead. Just kick the extra point and be done with it. Number two, if you are going to go for two, just line up and go for it from the two-yard line. Why make it so difficult? That's a long way to go to try and pick up some points. And it takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. And let's shift our attention to Will Fuller. They've got to be thinking, how can we get him a little bit more involved here? Second quarter, you're down, and really, he's been out of the mix. I would agree with that, and oftentimes you hear, well, we're just taking what the defense is giving us. But sometimes that's just not good enough. Sometimes you have to take what you want, and that means getting him the football. Yeah, so far just a single catch in this game. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. Time. I'll go from one personality, you Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth. <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. Tongue of Iloa working out of the gun. Flushed out right. And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. They'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. That's a good effort there trying to do it on his own, but as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you, and if you take off too quick to try and get him down, he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. Jags football again. DJ Chark ready to rock and roll. Making his presence felt early in this one. First half already over the century mark. How about the yards per completion, too? That's a pretty darn good number there. 
Number of catches, but he's shredding defense. He's getting big yardage with each and every one of them. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Now he's going to throw it back deep over the middle. He's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it. that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there.